कवरेज भी बहुत अच्छी हुई आप लोगों ने बहुत अच्छे से जी ट्वेंटी को कवर किया चंडीगढ़ को पूरे देश में चंडीगढ़ को खैर देश में स्थापित करने की कोई वो नहीं है एवरी वन नोज अबाउट इट बट जी ट्वेंटी के नज़रिए से चंडीगढ़ को पूरे एक राष्ट्रीय मैप में स्थापित करने में मुझे लगता है आप लोगों ने बहुत अहम भूमिका निभाई एंड नाउ वी आर इन टू द फाइनल फेज वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द पोस्ट इवेंट डिस्कशंस इन टर्म्स ऑफ वट ऑल हैज हैपन इन दिस टू डेज Uh, what kind of <coughs> discussions have had? What whatever we can tell uh, without uh, compromising on the, uh, I would say the internal parts. We'll try to do that. Or, जैसे कल हम लोगों ने किया था, same process वही follow करेंगे कि पहले एक हमारे अनुमतायस मैडम एक आपको statement देंगे, brief inputs देंगे. Then it will be followed by question answer segment from your side, which uh, both our officers will try to address. और अगर हमारे joint secretary साहब बाद में join कर पाए, तो वो भी हमारे साथ join करेंगे. Uh, with these words, once again a very warm welcome to all of you, and uh, now I uh, give the floor back to Anu Ma'am. Thank you, Rajan Nidhi. Thank you to all of you for coming. Um, the the first meeting of the International Financial Architecture Working Group uh, under the Indian G20 Presidency was held uh, on 30th and 31st January uh, here in Chandigarh. um this group is uh, dedicated to discussing solutions to vulnerabilities in the international financial uh, system uh, enhancing financing for development and strengthening the international financial architecture now you would all know that uh, this meeting was uh, inaugurated by uh, honorable minister of agriculture and farmers welfare uh, shri narendra uh, singh tomar ji and honorable minister of uh, food processing industries shri pashupati kumar paris ji uh, now welcoming delegate when they were when they were welcoming delegates to the beautiful city of chandigarh uh, honorable ministers in their inaugural addresses reflected on the spirit of uh, the indian g20 presidency's theme of vasudev kutumbakam one earth one family one future uh, this group is co-chaired by france and south korea Uh, the indian presidency was represented in the meeting by the department of economic affairs ministry of finance and the reserve bank of india uh, the meeting was conducted over two days and the aim was to seek the views of uh, g20 member countries and invitees on the agenda for this group under the uh, indian presidency uh, a panel uh, discussion was also organized on the sidelines Uh, by the reserve bank of india on central bank digital currencies uh, opportunities and challenges they had done a dom- uh, event earlier also on the 25th in uh, chandigarh and the, for uh, the people of chandigarh and this was uh, for uh, the g20 delegates the objective of this side event was to share country experiences on cbdcs and to develop a deeper understanding on the uh, implications of uh, cbdcs um in this meeting over the last two uh, days there were nearly 100 delegates from g20 member countries invitee countries and international organizations their presence here uh, of these uh, delegates in this beautiful city of chandigarh demonstrates the strong commitment of the global community to support india's g20 presidency uh at while while there was work they were also provided an opportunity to experience the vibrant uh, culture and spirit of uh, chandigarh a polo match was organized for the delegates uh, on uh, january 29th uh, visits to uh, some of Ch- chandigarh's famous locations were also organized for the delegates and uh, they were also uh, provided an opportunity to have a taste of uh, this city's uh, wonderful cuisine and art dance and musical performances rooted in the multicultural setting of uh, chandigarh showcased uh, india's cultural uh, diversity now coming to the meeting itself uh, the subjects that were uh, discussed over the last few days were um, how to strengthen multilateral development banks and how to address challenges associated with uh, this the g20 common framework for debt uh, treatments Uh, which is uh, a previous achievement of the G20 for helping the very poor countries uh, with the the their debt uh, and uh, this has become uh, continues to be an important agenda as the debt situation worsens now the focus of uh, this group in 2023 is to support global action 
for enhancing uh, financing for development while at the same time uh, strengthening international financial institutions to support vulnerable co uh, countries to deal with challenges uh, like pandemics and climate change that that are not confined within uh, national boundaries but go beyond uh, boundaries. Now, what will happen next is, this was, uh, as I mentioned to you in the uh, pre-event press briefing, uh, this is the first, uh, there will be more meetings of this group. And in the, after this, the next, uh, uh, the discussions of this meeting will inform the meeting of uh, ministers and central bank governors, which will take place in uh, Bengaluru on 24th and 25th uh, February. Uh, so, uh, uh, so that is the next uh, item on the G20 calendar for the finance track of the G20 calendar. Thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, now we'll uh, let the floor open. Uh, I think, yeah, please start. This, as I said, is the first of uh, many meetings. So this uh, and uh, the G20 is primarily a dis forum for discussing the the issues that are uh, you know the key challenges and issues of the day. So now debt is uh, has been the debt problem has been a problem for some years now and it is uh, increasing. So it is too early to have an outcome at this meeting itself. So this this will be this issue will be discussed over the next few meetings so that members can decide what is the best way uh, to improve the way this uh, debt situation has been handled. So in previous years, the, uh, the G, this group came out with this, uh, this uh, mechanism to deal with uh, debt, uh, the de debt burdens of very poor countries. So they came out with this debt service suspension initiative so that uh, uh, the countries that have to uh, service their debt, that is their, uh, their debt service burden is uh, lessened. So, uh, now, but there were some challenges with that. So, that was not working very well. So, the, there are many issues to be discussed. How to make this work better? What are the diff other ways that uh, the debt issue, debt distress faced by not only low-income countries, but middle-income countries can also be uh, addressed? So, the solution will take some time. It will only come after uh, some discussion. So, uh, the, the solution will not emerge out of the uh, first meeting. So, over the year, they will discuss this. And as, as, as we said in the first meeting also that there is a process. So, this working group meeting, etc., this is a kind of deliberations which are going to, you know, be the input for finance minister and central bank deputies meeting. And then they deliberate upon it. And then finally, the final element which is accepted by the G20 members in a consensus manner, that is at the level of leader summit where you know there is a, a final emergence of uh, those things. So, can you also specify the names of uh, countries, those having a more debt burden? Whose uh, cases have been discussed? There are many countries all over the world, like many countries in Africa, Zambia, Chad, Ghana. Uh, then uh, in uh, on Central America, Latin America. So there are a number of very poor countries who are facing a, a tremendous debt uh, burden, Suriname. Now, um, uh, those are the countries, the very poor countries, but now middle-income countries are also slow, also in, uh, increasing. Their debt distress is also uh, increasing. You have the case of Sri Lanka, for example. So many other countries are apprehensive of the digital currency. So what you have deliberated in these meetings about the digital, digital currency and the future of the digital currency? So, as I said, an event, uh, two, three, uh, one domestic event was held and there was an event along with this, uh, the meeting, uh, because as you know, the Reserve Bank of India has brought out a CBDC on a pilot basis. So, the idea was to explain that to uh, people and uh, to, for, to share experiences, because there are a few countries that have introduced this, but on this, uh, Reserve Bank will be in a better position uh, to uh, describe the it works. You say there was forward movement in narrowing of divergences on key issues like reform of MDBs, uh, reform of multilateral institutions like the IMF or the quota system. 
and uh, you know uh, the global safety net. Uh, I, uh, was there forward movement on divergences between countries, uh, or narrowing of divergences between the countries? It will take some time. These were issues are all on the uh, agenda. Uh, now everybody recognizes the importance of these issues. That is one, uh, the need to uh, strengthen uh, multilateral development banks to address the new challenges that arise. Uh, so while they are well equipped, uh, or I, w I should not say well equipped, but while so far their focus has been on development financing, these poor uh, countries around the world are also now facing challenges that transcend boundaries. Uh, and so uh, the resources of these MDBs need to be increased, they need to be strengthened to be able to address these challenges. So uh, there is, uh, there is uh, quite convergence on the issues that have to be, uh, on the problems uh, that there are. The, uh, what has to be decided by consensus in, is how to address these uh, issues. So certainly uh, as far as narrowing of, of uh, differences is concerned, uh, all the issues that you mentioned, uh, people, this, is, this uh, work plan of this group is, has been agreed by consensus. Everyone has agreed that we have to discuss uh, these issues. So we will get closer to resolving them as the uh, months go by. Uh, excuse me, uh, Purushartha ji, Purushartha ji, the uh, calendar of G20 is now in April, is that the calendar final in April or now? मई में जो जम्मू कश्मीर है वो इंक्लूड होना है। ठीक है अभी तो जो कैलेंडर है वही फाइनल है। लेकिन बिकॉज़ ये ईयर लॉन्ग इवेंट है अगर कोई वेंचुअलिटी आई तो उस समय देखी जाएगी अभी तो कैलेंडर जो जी ट्वेंटी का है वो बना हुआ और सबके सामने। तो जम्मू कश्मीर पे अभी कुछ फाइनल नहीं है साल भर का प्रोग्राम कई वेंचुअलिटी हो सकती है अगर किसी को चेंज करने की जरूरत पड़ेगी तो पड़ेगी आ, नहीं मैं ये क्वेश्चन इसलिए पूछ रहा हूँ क्योंकि पाकिस्तान ने ऑलरेडी जम्मू कश्मीर के इवेंट पे ऐतराज जताया है तो मैं ये पूछना चाहता हूँ कि क्या जी ट्वेंटी जम्मू कश्मीर में होगा या नहीं होगा देखिए ये जो चीजें हैं वो हमारे लेवल के डिस्कशन की चीज नहीं है तो हम इसके लिए कम्पिटेंट अथॉरिटी नहीं है कि हम इस पर कुछ कह सकते थैंक यू No, so the, 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 in this meeting, the broad agenda was discussed, which I mentioned to you. The, uh, I'm talking specifically about the meeting of this particular working group, the International Financial Architecture Working Group. So the, uh, the work plan for the whole year has been agreed by the group. And as I mentioned, these are the issues that are going to be discussed over the uh, next uh, few meetings in this group, which is strengthening MDBs, discussing implications of CBDCs, addressing debt challenges, uh, looking at capital flows, and so on. So that will remain, continue to be the agenda for the next uh, meeting. This is this. Uh, these would be. This is the forum for countries to express their views on these various issues. देखिए शायद समझाने के लिए हम आपको बता दें कि ये जो पहली मीटिंग होती है उसमें एजेंडा सेटिंग होती है. एजेंडा सेटिंग का मतलब है कि जो प्रेसिडेंसी ने एजेंडा बनाया है, जो एजेंडा में डिलीवरेबल आईडेंटिफाई किए हैं, जो एजेंडा के डिस्कशन टॉपिक आईडेंटिफाई किए हैं इस तमाम मुद्दों पे मेंबर्स कंट्री जितने भी हैं पार्टिसिपेंट्स वो इस पे अपने व्यू एक्सप्रेस करते हैं और फाइनल जो आउटकम होता है कि उस पे उनकी सहमति है या नहीं है तो ये पहली मीटिंग हमेशा इस चीज को लेकर होती है और जैसा कि हमारी कलीग बता रही हैं कि सारे मेंबर कंट्रीज ने इसको डिलिब्रेट करने के बजाय बाद में अपनी पूरी सहमति जताई है इस एजेंडा से और अब इस एजेंडा पे पूरे साल भर काम होगा और इसकी जो फाइनल जिसको हम कह सकते हैं कि डिलीवरेबल है कि इस एजेंडा के आउटकम क्या निकल कर आए वो पूरे साल भर काम होने के बाद जी ट्वेंटी के जो आउटकम होंगे उस आउटकम का हिस्सा ये भी होगा और इसी तरह के तमाम जितने भी वर्किंग ग्रुप हैं सिर्फ यही वर्किंग ग्रुप नहीं है जैसे इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वर्किंग ग्रुप है या कोई भी वर्किंग ग्रुप है तो उसकी पहली मीटिंग हमेशा एजेंडा सेटिंग के लिए होती है मैं पूछ रहा हूँ की किस टाइप के व्यूज थे मेम्बर कंट्रीज के इन एजेंडा पे I may ask you, ma'am, I would like to give a some light 
as to how what were the views of China and European Union on the issues on the agenda which India has uh, pushed in this in these two days. Uh, no, uh, we want to clarify one thing here. Uh, G20 meetings are closed door meetings. Uh, that is why you know media is not allowed inside the meeting. So these are country views. Uh, they are uh, country sensitive. Their specificities are there. So what is agreed will obviously come out in front of you. But during the process of deliberation, I don't think presidency has the you know authority to yes. share with you what countries think about these issues. Uh, I, I hope you all uh, will abide by the international sensitivities. What are the points India? What are the views of India? What are the views and what are the points India raises on this issue? India, the first and foremost point. Yes, uh, first and foremost point which India raises and is at the core of India's G20 presidency is that we need more international and global cooperation to ensure economic stability so that everybody enjoys the fruits of a strong and sustainable growth. Now, what are the impediments to economic stability? That is a matter of analysis. We invited many international organizations. We had invited IMF, we had invited World Bank. In fact, we had invited seven or eight regional development banks. Uh, we had uh, uh, representatives like OECD speaking from their angle. People have spoken on various issues. Some people are affected by capital outflows. Some people are from the countries whose policies affect the capital outflow. So there is a wide variety of spectrum available around the table, but the whole idea is to have it all converge into some sort of a solution, some sort of an agreement where people and countries agree that, okay, these are the things which we all agree and we can all uh, act on this so that overall global financial stability is maintained. That is the core purpose of this group and this is how it operates. Uh, Ma'am, you said discussions are also held related to climate change. Could you just show, uh, throw some light upon uh, what are the challenges that we faced uh, in this group and were there any deliberations held upon, uh, you know, going forward towards a sustainable and more climate friendly economy? Uh, climate change as a subject is not uh, a subject of this uh, particular group. Uh, therefore, that there is actually another group which is on the Sherpa track, which is another track of the G20. Uh, what I said was that uh, international financial institutions uh, so far ha are, have been funding or providing financing for uh, development issues, uh, you know, uh, uh, then sustainable development goals, poverty alleviation, and so on. But the problems of the 21st century are much bigger. They're not problems confined to a particular country. And that is why I mentioned climate change. So, for example, climate change can lead to, can make it worse, can face, uh, can make development uh, challenges worse, can push more people into uh, poverty and put challenges on infrastructure and so on. So, uh, what I, by the context in which I mentioned climate change was that the international financial architecture has to be strengthened so that they can provide financing to meet these challenges also. Groups, there are many other working groups in which these things are deliberated. For example, in infrastructure working group. Now, the theme of this year's infrastructure working group is urban development. Now, how urban infrastructure can be made more green, it can attract more, uh, you know, green financing, it can get more funding to ensure that our urban, not only, you know, cities of India, but cities across the world are becoming more eco-friendly, they are more, becoming more, less and less use of energy more circular economy, all these things, these are deliberated, various elements are deliberated in various working groups in which they belong to. Uh, since there have been discussions on uh, uh, financial, uh, fin uh, structuring the financial Uh, yes, the, these are very, very important issues. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, FAT, we have uh, an international organization called FATF, so they continuously discuss, but they have their own annual program. Although at the, uh, when uh, G20 finance track meetings are held at a fairly senior level, minister's level, FATF representative reports to the finance ministers that what have they achieved, and yes, uh, money laundering, anti-money laundering, terror financing, they are on the agenda of FATF. Oh.
उसका सुअर है और दूसरा ये कि जो मार्च में मीटिंग हो रही है वह इसी का सेकंड पार्ट है या वो कुछ और है इधर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट एज सर हेज सेट द एजेंडा इज सेट फॉर द होल ईयर दिस यू कैन इमेजिन एज द वर्क प्लान फॉर वन ईयर विच इज डिस्कस्ड इन एवरी मीटिंग इन एवरी मीटिंग देर इज सम प्रोग्रेस एंड समटाइम्स वन पार्ट इज पिकडअप इन वन मीटिंग सम अदर पार्ट माइट बी पिकडअप इन एन अदर मीटिंग एंड जनरली ऑर्गनाइजेशन आर टास्क विद वर्क दे कम बैक एंड रिपोर्ट इन नेक्स्ट मीटिंग दैट वॉट इज प्रोग्रेस सो दैट इज देयर एंड टू आंसर अ क्वेश्चन अबाउट पाकिस्तान एंड श्रीलंका इट्स it's the cases uh, which impact the global economy you know uh, those are uh, discussed individual cases uh, relations and uh, implications for one particular country uh, this one to one kind of decision is for bilateral meetings and this g20 is not for that so the uh, number that we discuss the uh, economic slowdown that we Uh, these all these issues are discussed in uh, G20, but not specifically this. Not in this particular group. There is another group which also discusses the economic, uh, global economic conditions, and so on. Uh, but not in this, not in this particular group. There has been reports that uh, a war is moving towards depression as well. So, do we have any discussion on those parts? Again, the same group. The, it's related to that. So, we have another working group. Uh, in which uh, this th these issues will also come up but that is not the subject of this working group iski jo next review meeting hogi ji wo india mein hogi ya kisi next aaj jo meeting hui hai ha iski review meeting ha finance track ki meetings ka ek pura calendar bana hua hai g20 ki website par hai और आ, आपको हम ये बता सकते हैं कि इसके बाद सीरीज में अगली मीटिंग इस सब्जेक्ट की नहीं है सस्टेनेबल फाइनेंस वर्किंग ग्रुप की है जो शायद आज से दो दिन बाद गुवाहाटी में है उसके बाद फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर लेवल की मीटिंग है जो फेबररी 24 और 25 को बेंगलुरु में है सो ये एक मंथ का है सिमिलरली फॉर कमिंग मंथ ऑल्सो द कैलेंडर इज ऑलरेडी पब्लिश जस्ट टू आंसर योर क्वेश्चन इसको रिव्यू मीटिंग नहीं करते हैं बट देर वुड बी मल्टीपल मीटिंग फॉर अ वर्किंग ग्रुप तो जिस प्रेसिडेंसी जिस भी कंट्री की प्रेसिडेंसी होती है ऑल मीटिंग्स हैपेंस इन दैट कंट्री सो इस साल के जी ट्वेंटी प्रेसिडेंसी की मीटिंग सारी हमारे देश में so uh, the pandemic uh, in 2020 when the pandemic happened then the uh, the agenda at that time the agenda was, that time the presidency was held by saudi arabia so uh, uh, the immediate the, the what they had a certain agenda planned but then when the pandemic struck then the g20 had to think of ways to deal with the uh, crisis so one of the uh, response to the crisis was to put in place this mechanism Uh, to uh, you know to uh, wave off debt service payment not wave off to actually to delay debt service payments by the poorest countries uh, so uh, so that uh, so the g20 also adjusts its ag agenda to deal with some whatever the immediate crisis uh, is so uh, 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 so that's what i meant when i said uh, crisis response the visiting delegates but the prime minister had said that he wants to make it a jan bhagedari uh, initiative or a people's movement how have the residents of chandigarh contributed in this particular working groups meeting what has been the interface between uh, you know those who have been here as participants and the residents of chandigarh let me request uh, my colleague to answer this देखिए जन भागीदारी यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इन अ लार्जर यू नो कॉन्टेक्स्ट सो दे आर प्रोसेसेस थ्रू विच द चैलेंजेस फेस्ड बाय कंट्रीज कमिंग अप व्हिच इज यू नो थ्रू अ चैनल थ्रू व्हिच दीज थिंग्स आर गेटिंग कैप्चर्ड एंड देन थ्रू वेरियस लेयर्स दीज आर कमिंग अप सो दिस इज वन थिंग ऑफ जन भागीदारी द अदर थिंग ऑफ जन भागीदारी इज टू फील प्राउड ऑफ दिस इंटरनेशनल लीडरशिप व्हिच इंडिया इज गेटिंग यू नो इन द शेप ऑफ the g20 presidency so whenever we are visiting to any city we have seen a tremendous uh, you know uh, sense of pride and joy in the city people for example in bangalore we have seen it 
in many other cities we have seen in chandigarh last two year two days we have we have seen this this the kind of sense of pride that look the international kind of thing is happening in our city and rather than this g20 becoming only a thing which is deliberated among officials and deliberated among uh, you know uh, uh, bureaucrats it become a process in which people are also feeling that they are part of a larger initiative which is happening so this is a very elaborated uh, you know purpose so it's not that one to one correlation between uh, common public and the meetings which are happening but this entire process is part of it yeah main add karna chahunga ki yahan par aap logo ka yogdan bahut mahatvapurna hai jaise kal bahut khubsurat kuch photos aayi jisme hamare g20 delegates bhangra team ke sath dance kar rahe the तो जब इस तरह की फोटोज मास मीडिया के जरूर जरिए आती हैं तो मुझे लगता है जो जन भागीदारी वाली बात थी और जैसे अभी बलदेव जी ने बताया वो चीज अपने आप प्रमुखता से आगे आती है तो ये तो जन भागीदारी तो आप लोग अपने आप बढ़ाएंगे अगर आप इसी तरह से जी ट्वेंटी के बारे में जैसे आप लोगों ने दो दिनों से हमें सपोर्ट किया ऐसे सपोर्ट करते रहेंगे इसके सॉफ्टवेयर एस्पेक्ट्स को आप सामने लाएंगे कल्चरल एस्पेक्ट्स को हिस्टोरिकल एस्पेक्ट्स को टूरिज्म एस्पेक्ट्स को आई थिंक दर पर्पज ऑफ जी गेटिंग डाउन टू अदर सिटीज अदर देन मेट्रोज दैट गेट सॉल्व वेरी वेल media friendly the event isn't that media friendly we aren't being allowed even to the cultural events i know the seminars are closed row because diplomatic uh, relations are being discussed in that but the cultural events at least media should be allowed there nahi dekhiye isko we have to understand it in the uh, you know context of international sensitivity it's not that this is what is happening in india in the other countries or last year when we visited other last two at least i am you know attached to this for last many years and in every country which we are going Uh, media interaction is only through this kind of channels which we are having so international i know other countries every country delegates have their own sensitivities which need to be honored everybody doesn't want to you know get his picture clicked or <laughs> doesn't want to uh, you know seen in a particular thing so the idea is that this is not something which is only for this year or only for this uh, presidency it's a it's a it's a common practice which is happening across countries and across years across presidents so you are providing the photos and videos sir nahi wo to hum utna hi curated hi batate hai na the only thing is you don't want to give the lessons to the public what you people are doing haji you are providing the photos nahi dekhiye aisa hai ki there are so many things involved you know which which a very open kind of interaction may not be you know catering to those kind of sensitivity so kuch message aisa ja raha hai ki aap jo provide karana chahte hain bas wahi provide karayenge baaki kuch nahi to isme bura kya hai bataiye jaise abhi aapne prashanta ji kaha ki ye closed door meeting hai par wo korea wala batane mein to 1 minute laga hame lekin baaki closed door meeting hai ki korea kehta hai ki india soft hard power hai soft power hai jo bhi hai wo closed door meeting ka chapter nahi tha kya wo bhi tha लेकिन वो बताने में हमें बड़ी थी कि आप बता दें लेकिन जब हम सवाल पूछते हैं तो क्लोज डोर मीटिंग हो जाती है तो बस ये है मतलब मेरा ये नहीं कहना कि आप बताएं ना बताएं ये आपका प्रोडक्टिव है आपका दायरा है लेकिन ये पिक एंड चूज वाला है आई डोंट थिंक कि आप कोरिया के किस कॉन्टेक्स्ट में बात कर रहे हैं मुझे नहीं पता लेकिन ये यही हम आपको समझा साउथ कोरिया ने कल कुछ स्टेटमेंट या पर्सनल स्टेटमेंट दी सो द इशू इज वॉट वी आर कन्वेइंग दैट जो मीटिंग हो रही है जी की चाहे ये मीटिंग है चाहे पूरे देश में जो कई मीटिंग्स होंगी पहले भी दूसरे देशों में हुई है सारी मीटिंग्स जो है क्लोज डोर मीटिंग होती है इसमें कौन सी कंट्री हमारे कलीग्स ने आपको बताया एजेंडा क्या था हमारे कलीग्स ने बताया मुद्दे क्या थे हमारे कलीग्स ने ये भी बताया कि इसका प्रोसेस क्या होगा और कैसी चीजें फाइनलाइज होगी हमने क्या कहा आपको किस कंट्री ने क्या पोजिशन लिया दिस इज अ क्लोज डोर मीटिंग वो हम कंट्री का पोजिशन आपको नहीं बता सकते बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रोसेस ऑफ जी ट्वेंटी तो ये तो हर चीज का एक कायदा होता है एक तरीका होता है और हम आप सबसे रिक्वेस्ट करते हैं कि उस कायदे तरीके को आप भी समझेंगे उसमें हमारी मदद करेंगे ओके आई थिंक इट वाज अ नाइस इंटरेक्शन विद ऑल ऑफ यू एज इन द पास्ट टू डेज यू पीपल केम विद वेरी रीजनेबल वेरी इंटेलिजेंट क्वेश्चन आई थिंक ऑफिसर्स ऑल्सो इक्वली हैप्पी टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू देम वी डेंट फेस एनी काइंड ऑफ अनटवर्ड इंसिडेंट थ्रू आउट द थ्री डेज विच which is great in terms of how well you people have cooperated with us uh, we look forward to